time I'm going to paint the FL Stern, the Sister of Battle, try to follow uh, for her the colors. The only thing I will deviate is maybe on the base, because I have this base, I want to do a desertic environment with uh, bricks, and I will paint them in the brick color. So, what I have done to this point is I just did texture on the base and I applied Zamezi Desert, this is still dry, okay? And now I'm going to apply Tuzgor Fur, this is a terracotta type of color, and I'm going to apply this on the bricks. So we are going to apply this on all these bricks, and I have the feeling that this um, um, terracotta color will give a very nice contrast with the armor and with the lady. And I want to give a leaven look, but this is the, because these things are looking like a, a bricks, and I was thinking that maybe uh, the, the Imperium haven't lost the technology to make bricks of terracotta and doing buildings with that. Okay, so I'm going to apply this on all the bricks, and I'm back for the next step. Okay. We have applied all the terracotta on the bricks. And now I'm going to use Corvus Black to do the wires that we have we see here. Okay, so these ones. It's when you realize that you missed some parts, so you can come back and put again the terracotta. So I do that. I will put the, this corpus black, and I'm back for the next step. Okay, next step I'm going to use iron breaker. I'm going to paint these things here. That is the ones that are holding the clamp that hold the the wires in position. Air shade and we are going to wash everything except the ground. Okay, want to leave the ground lighter, so I will take a air shade. Okay, that is maybe the color I use the most. I can take brush this knot and we are going to apply it on the bricks. See, if it, I try to avoid that it's falling too much, but I don't mind if it's falling there on this lot, okay? So I will apply this, as you can see, I try to avoid that it's falling down into the sand, because at the sand I want to apply Seraphine Sepia. So I will keep, I will apply that, I will wait that it dries, and I'm back. Okay, next step I'm going to do dry brushing using first Bookman's glue. We're going to dry brush of course on the bricks with that.
just have some brush for the next one. So I'm going to do to the very soft vibration now with a lighter flesh color that is going to be cadmium flesh Can see we have no a nice terracotta look. Good. Next step, I'm going to do a wash with Seraphine Sepia. see on the sun part. And now I will wait at this device. Okay. this device before doing the next step. Okay, next step we are going to do some dry brushing on the sand. So we can, and I will use first Ungor Flesh to give much lighter color. lighter and I'm not too worried if I touch a little bit the bridge I'm going to the bridge here and there will give the sensation of even more weathering Okay, and I'm also okay if we have a regular tones. And then finally I will use flake one flesh. We have to be more careful with this one, it's very white. Very light.
and now we are ready to start the work on the label and in that case I will start with a contrast paint, I will use the black templar and from there we are going to start, so I'm going to use black templar on no, this basilicum grey I'm going to use black templar on the armor because this will show me where I have to highlight and what are the different details that I want to show I will avoid I can go on the granite but I will avoid the clothes and the parts that will go in a different color uh, on the armor if we have some decoration that we want to do in gold I don't care at this moment I will go through it okay and I will do this and then I wait to this device. When I'm applying the black templar, so as you can see, I try to avoid that it's accumulating too much, and I prefer not to do a very thick layer because if you go very thick, then you will not have too much contour. So I prefer to go lighter, and then later on we are going to work to unify the color and clean up and so on. Okay, so you can see I'm doing here the leg. Some parts are a little bit more difficult to reach. Okay, so I do that and I'm back for the next step. Panda. Hello. So mm, the black is drying, and what I'm doing now is I'm painting the cape, okay, so I have painted the cape like that with my fist on red this is the color that I'm using and now I'm going to paint as well the red on the clothes that you can see on the main body okay, so I will do that yeah, there is not much to say, I just put Try to go thin and try to avoid to go into the black now because the black is has been done before. Okay, so we carefully we do all the red. So I will do that and I'm back for the next step. Okay, red is done. And next step I'm going to use a retributor armor to do the gold pass. So this will include these decorations here on the knee will include these rosarios, the inquisition symbol, the floor de lis, so all and the guard of this of the sword. Okay. So we are going to apply this. And yeah, and I will be back for the next step. Okay. Next step, I'm going to use Bruno's height. Okay, on the gloves and the leather things, all these type of things that we have here. So we will do all the gloves and I'm back for the next step. Okay, 
So this is going to look it like when we have applied the dark brown. And now I'm going to use Gilliman Flesh on the face. Okay, I also paint the hair in white because I'm going to use apothecary white. But first I want to do the face with Gilliman Blue. Gilliman, sorry. Gilliman Flesh. Then we are going to wait at this device. So I think I will stop part one here because I already record a good amount of the, of the tutorial. And it's a good point to start. We have done the main base codes and we have done the base on part one. So keep tuned for part two where I will do I will start doing the highlights and shades on the on the miniature and then the details. Okay. So when the, I'm just looking that I'm not missing any part. Good. So keep doing if you want to see the next part. So this is the starting point on uh, a stern, and soon I will come with the second part on FL STEM. Okay, so I hope you have enjoyed this uh, tutorial so far. Please give a like if that is the case, and as usual, thanks a lot for watching.